The name Mary Jo Buttafuoco hasn't been in the headlines for more than two decades. In 1992, her ex-husband's teenage mistress shot her in the head in New York State, nearly killing her. But Buttafuoco survived, and this weekend she's sponsoring a walk in Long Beach for people who've suffered facial injuries. Mary Beth McDade has her story. Mary Jo Buttafuoco's life was changed forever nearly 25 years ago when she was shot in the head on the front steps of her Long Island home. A young teenage girl came to my house and at the time I did not realize it but she was having an affair with my then husband and um, she shot me in the head. And that's how she found out her husband of 15 years, Joey Buttafuoco, and father of her two young children, was cheating on her with 17-year-old Amy Fisher. That was how the public met me, like, I, like this. I had a camera thrust in my face, and I was sick, and I was almost murdered, and I was in agony. After battling back from the brink of death in 1992, she and her kids moved out to L.A. in 1996 to start a new life. But she was constantly reminded of the tremendous tragedy she endured every time she looked in the mirror. It was very, very difficult. When I think back to the time, I mean, when you see somebody, the first thing you notice is their smile and their face. But then 11 years ago, after appearing on a TV show, she got a call from Dr. Babak Azizadeh, one of the few doctors in the country who specializes awesome. in facial nerve issues. He Created symmetry between the two sides of her face. We repositioned the corner of her mouth and improved the nerve function on that right side that she's paralyzed with. And uh, she ended up getting a fantastic result. Dr. Azizadeh performed a static facial suspension and was able to give Mary Jo her smile back. And this Sunday in Long Beach, both Mary Jo and Dr. Azizadeh will be participating in a walkathon to raise awareness and money for the facial paralysis in Bell's Palsy Foundation. People like her who have these issues, they, they don't have a lot of hope. They can't find the right practitioner to take care of them. So it's kind of just feels great to be able to do that for them. And these days, Mary Jo has a lot to smile about. My children are grown and happy, and I'm a brand new grandmother this summer. I'm thrilled for, to a little girl.